perfect lips and the perfect manicure. The hammer and sickle of Aeroflot. Staffed, it seems, by just the long-legged. But what if you don't look like this? Did you do this? Yes, yes because my size is more <coughs> changed. <laughs> so I have to change my... <laughs> well, you've done this very well. Last summer, Aeroflot flight attendant Evgenia Magurina <laughs> was told she must be photographed, head and full body shots. And then her career with Aeroflot changed. Uh, 15th of August, um, I didn't fly international flights because they are said they, I am fat, <laughs> ugly and old. Your boss said that to you? Yes. Here, an internal Aeroflot document Evgenia let us photograph, showing the salary deductions of up to 100 rubles, or just a little under $2 per flight hour, for staff who don't meet Aeroflot standards, size included. That adds up. Evgenia and another flight attendant took Aeroflot to court, claiming discrimination and lost. An Aeroflot union rep tells me there are plenty of other female flight attendants who are too scared to speak out against Russia's national flag carrier. Several hundred have been affected by this, but most of them have families or old parents or small children, so they are trying to hold on to their jobs any way they can. At a news conference last week, a representative from Aeroflot's public council encouraged larger stewardesses to find another job or to lose weight like he had. It didn't require any active exercise or expensive supplements or anything that would require spending a lot of money. I just corrected my meal plan. Now I weigh 80 kilograms. I don't understand why the requirement to be within this closing size range is such a mission impossible. Aeroflot says these men don't speak for the company. They also deny discrimination, but stand by their policies, saying Cabin crew of a national flag carrier are the calling card of their country. Their deportment and how they serve passengers creates the first impression of an attitude towards Russia. Evgenia and her colleague plan to appeal, but this story with its suggestions of latent chauvinism, widely covered in this country and beyond, creates a nasty tailwind for one of Russia's proudest brands. Diana Magne, CNN, Moscow.